Previously, we discussed the law of conservation of matter. We quickly identified that the number of atoms on the reactant side should equal the number of atoms on the product side. Since we've proven this to be true, it only makes sense that if we added the mass of the reactants and the mass of the products, we would see that they are equal. This phenomena is referred to as the law of conservation of mass. The law of conservation of mass states that matter can be changed from one form into another, mixtures can be separated or made, and pure substances can be decomposed, but the total amount of mass remains constant. We can prove it to ourselves if we go back and reference the chemical reaction for cellular respiration. On the reactant side, we have six carbons, you multiply that by their atomic mass unit of 12, it comes out to a total of 72 AMU. Hydrogen, we have 12 of them. Each one has an atomic mass unit of 1, so 12 times 1 is 12 atomic.